the Royal Navy's Experimentation Innovator Navy X has officially welcomed a new autonomous vessel into its service. Named MADFOX or Maritime Demonstrator for Operational Experimentation, it is derived from technology firm L3 Harris's MAST-13 vessel, which for the past 18 months has been operated by Defense Science and Technology Laboratory on a series of trials with the Royal Navy. Since being delivered, Navy X has been working hard to get MADFOX to sea and ready to begin a demanding year of testing. Over the next few months, Navy X will carry on its work with uncrewed surface vessel, while also examining how these vessels can deliver across the range of military operations including surveillance and force protection. Commander Anthony Crabb, Navy X team leader, said, with MADFOX now directly in the hands of Navy X, the team will be able to explore a multitude of issues such as safety, regulatory compliance, new missions, new payloads and the role that an uncrewed surface vessel can play in complex operations and within the future fleet. Later this year Navy X will also accept an autonomous rigid inflatable boat into the inventory. This exciting work will help inform how systems are deployed, and employed, from future vessels of the Type 26 and Type 31 classes. The investment in MADFOX comes as the Royal Navy and Royal Marines look to expand their use of crewless and autonomous equipment. MAST-13 proved the value of uncrewed surface vessel during experimentation in Norway last year when it was successfully integrated with HMS Albion for Autonomous Advance Force 3.0. There it was controlled remotely, including for the transit in and out of the ship's dock. This exciting work will help inform how systems are deployed, and employed, from future vessels of the Type 26 and Type 31 classes Commander Anthony Crabb, Navy X team leader. Last year, the UK and France reaffirmed their long-standing defence relationship today by committing to a joint programme for autonomous mine hunting systems that will detect and neutralise mines around the world. Speaking at the Franco-British Council Defence Conference, the Defence Secretary announced a £184 million investment in the Joint Maritime Mine Countermeasure Programme, which will create new systems to combat sea mines and keep ships and personnel away from danger. The contract will support 215 jobs across the UK at Thales sites in Somerset and Plymouth, as well as in the wider supply chain, including L3 Harris in Portsmouth, Stonehaven in Aberdeenshire and Alba Ultrasound in Glasgow. This investment follows the substantial £16.5 billion settlement in the spending review for defence over four years that will modernise the armed forces, reinvigorate the shipbuilding industry and bring jobs and prosperity to every part of the UK. The Royal Navy is world leader in mine countermeasures, having been regularly called upon to deal with mines and other historic ordnance, left over from the Second World War, around the United Kingdom. In recent times, the UK has been involved in mine hunting operations across the world, including the Gulf and off Libya. Following a successful demonstration phase and trials completed in October 2020, the new contract will produce three sets of mine hunting equipment, consisting of autonomous vessel a boat controlled and operated from a mothership or base. Towed sonar a sonar which is towed or dragged behind the vessel to locate ordnance. Mine neutralization system a remotely operated underwater vehicle which is used once the mine is located to neutralize the device and prevent its detonation. When used together, these three elements are known as the primary system. This next generation mine hunting capability is designed to potentially replace conventional crewed mine hunting vessels, such as the Royal Navy's Hunt and Sandown class ships, with autonomous systems.